Okay, you guys know that I love electrics. You know I love cars, you know I love motorcycles. Well, now we're gonna combine a lot of these things because the Gogoro here is a new type of electric vehicle. It's a little scooter. I, I don't wanna call it a scooter because it's more like a motorcycle in that this little baby will go 60 miles an hour. Not only will it go 60 miles an hour, but it's based on electric power. Now, this is a very unique business model. First of all, I'm gonna give you a little tour of the Gogoro. You'll notice that underneath the seat here, we've got a couple of electric batteries, a pair of them. And these batteries are good for about 16 miles of range. You've also got some storage down here. We've got a nice little uh, digital display. We don't have it turned on at the moment, but we've got a nice go button, which is always good for a vehicle named GoGoRo. Um, we've, we've also got a smart button over here, and I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Now, come down here. Down here, we've got a, an electric motor. This motor makes uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of eight or nine uh, horsepower, and it is belt driven to this rear wheel. And we'll notice that uh, it's a pretty good sized little rear wheel on this thing. We've got uh, disc brakes back here in the back. There's also an even bigger disc brake up in the front. And down here by the electric motor, there are some battery charging posts. These are where the batteries actually plug in. That's positive in the center, negative on the outer edge. And basically, there's a, oh, there's also a little cooling system down here because it's a liquid cooled motor, which is great. That's why you get the performance out of it. We shove this thing down, the batteries plug in, and you go. Now, what makes it super interesting is that those batteries pass a lot of data to the system and this gets fed up into the cloud. Now, why do we care about that? Because they have a very unique business model. They're gonna sell you the motorcycle, the scooter, super scooter, but they're going to lease you access to the batteries. Now that means we don't get to own the batteries and take them home and charge them at home, but in certain cities where they deploy these battery charging stations, what you'll do is you will ride up on your Gogoro, you'll open the uh, trunk there, you'll deposit a battery into this little space, and it slides down in just like this. You take the good ones out, stick them in your Gogoro, and go. So the questions remain, how much is it gonna cost? How much does it cost to buy this thing? How much is it gonna cost for the service for the batteries? When is it coming out? I don't have answers for you on any of those things yet. This is a first look. But they do promise they'll be coming in 2015. They're working with a number of cities so they can put these charging networks throughout the city. And whenever you are able to get a Gogoro and you drive it around, you'll have a personalized experience with those batteries collecting the data, passing the data through the charging system into the cloud and letting them know how you prefer to drive so when you plug new batteries in, they are tuned for your riding style. That's pretty cool. So we'll see how it all works out from a pricing and availability perspective, but definitely something to keep an eye on. All right, guys, that's it for this particular episode, but we got a lot more coverage coming at you from CES. Thumbs up on YouTube. I'm gonna go see if they'll let me drive this thing.